Good evening, everybody, and welcome. Uh, we are starting a little bit late, so for that, I apologize. I realized as I was getting things ready tonight that in order for me to unbox some stuff, I'm going to need two cameras, and uh, that's normally not a problem, except when I can't find the cable. So <laughs> that uh, that's why we have the delay. So for that, I do apologize. We are going to be um, talking about a lot of different things tonight. We've got... Uh, my most recent video I posted, which was on the um, FX Dreamline uh, DreamTac, which was, I want to tell you guys about that. So that was very cool. And then we have um, Aragon Expo and a bunch of stuff I want to talk to you about that. I've got some products here that came in. I want to tell you guys about that. Um, and so we got a, we got a kind of a big show tonight. Um, the other big news is... Uh, Ergen Angie is actually out here at the ranch where she's going to be working with me at the expo. So we've got some cool stuff. We've got some prep work to do the rest of this week as the expo is next week. So um, she was traveling all day. I would have loved to have snagged her and brought her over here. And I'm sure she would have if I had just asked her. But um, yeah, she's going to be around all next week. So we're going to be doing a, a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, shooting videos, shooting air guns and doing a bunch of that live. So let me just real quick, uh, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, um, I definitely want to say thank you over to Airgun Pro Shop for sponsoring, uh, you know, Let's Talk Airguns here. Um, in fact, Airgun Pro Shop is a major sponsor this year for Airgun Expo. And uh, Tyler will be uh, will be out uh, and we'll be working with him Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I think he's going to be here. So we're going to be He's going to be, uh, you guys are going to get to meet him, going to get to know him a little bit, which I think is going to be really cool. Tim's asking me how I'm doing. Uh, doing really well. Um, I'm doing very, very well. I mean, it's still, it, you're, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I was just today, for whatever reason, the scar is really painful, but, you know, I'm here breathing. So as far as I'm concerned, everything's good to go. Um, so again, I want to say thank you to Ergen Pro Shop. Um Really, their specialty, guys, they're just kind of taking over where I left off, and that was putting together really good packages that people that maybe are new to air guns can get that. They they have everything they need right in the box. They don't have to try and, oh, do I need this? Do I need that? The other thing. Everything's put together in a complete package. It's called the ready-to-go package. So they've got more and more they are going to be posting those on the website as well as just regular Airgun products, and they're selling different stuff than I did, so they've really kind of ex expanded. And if you're new to airguns and you want to try and find an airgun to fit a need, then the website's really designed to do that. So if you're interested in Ventress, you can go to like Intermediate best Ventress Rifles and get an idea of what rifles may fit for that need. And it's all price ranges, all different ways to look at it. So it's very, very cool. Um, and there's field target hunting, recreational, etc. So it's a, it's, I love the new direction that they're taking and really want to support them in that. So I ask you guys to help support them as well. Okay, so let's get into some cool stuff here. Um, I'll take a swig here or something. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Just checking the um, checking the little notifications there. Okay, so first thing, let's take a look at the Dream Tech. Uh, I guess it's kind of become a thing where on Tuesday we talk about the video I released on Monday, and I don't see why not. It's it's fresh and uh, it's fun. I think it's a great way for us to kind of um, to kind of regroup on you know the cool stuff we're talking about. Okay, so I've already shot the FX um, Dreamline, so that was. Not a big deal. It's the Dreamline Dream Tack with the carbon fiber bottle, as you guys can see here. The real star of the show, though, was the new Hawk Scope. Um, for Airgun Expo, Hawk sent me out the Frontier 34. Um, and we're going to kick over to um, another screen here. Um, this is the new um, the new Frontier 34. And let me just tell you, it's expensive. I mean... Now, if you're buying glass like Swarovski and all these other things, it's not expensive. But if you're an air gunner, it's expensive. I mean, when you're looking at thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars for glass for your air gun, that's a lot of money, um, no doubt. But let me tell you, um, I've never looked 
through through a scope as clear as this one. Um, the 34 millimeter tube is awesome. I've had this issue and I've talked about it uh, in that video. I've talked about it quite a bit. When you zoom all the way in, I have trouble seeing. I have trouble. It's just murky. It's, it's blurry. It's not in focus, at least for my eyes. I really struggle uh, on affordable scopes when you zoom all the way in. On both the Sidewinders and some of the, um, what is their Air Max line as well, you get down to the Vantage and they're kind of that way too. I mean, the one inch tubes, if you're trying to put a 24 power magnification on a one inch tube, you're going to struggle with the, at the high end. You just are. But when you get to the 30 and now the 34 millimeter, it really lets a lot of light through. And the optics are very good. The glass is very good glass. It works really, really well. And this is one of those scopes, which is just impressive. Now, <clears throat> I'll be curious if Angie likes it. <coughs> because Angie um, struggles with first focal plane scopes. When you when you look at this reticle, well, good. they actually have it here. So I want, to, when you see that, you, you see how, I mean, maybe you guys can't, but the the the, the mill dot spacing or the, the etch marks and all the endpoints are super tiny. So when when it's zoomed all the way out, like if this is a 5 to 30, when you zoom all the way out, it's, it's I mean, it's tough to see, just tough to see anything but, but haze because it's so fine. And I don't mean haze and blurry glass. It's just the reticle is so small, I have a hard time seeing it. But when you zoom in, and as you zoom in, as you see you get closer, you get to see now all of those individual aim points. And what a great scope for like bench rest, or if you're long range target shooting, you know, like a firearm, this would be great on a long range firearm if you're having to, if you want to shoot prey dogs at 600 yards, something like this would be freaking awesome. Um, but very, very cool scope. I will be curious though if Angie struggles with the first focal plane aspect of it because she has in the past. I it gets really big when you zoom all the way in. So maybe she won't, but I'll be curious to see how she does with that. So um uh Tim if you need a part for the SWA just just get with me. I, I can get you parts. It's not a problem. Um Yeah, it would just get you a new fill, fill part. But that's super easy. If I if I don't have it in stock, I'll, I'll hook you up with Terry, and we'll just send you a new because I think they're using a new fill pro a new fill adapter, um, which is maybe a little bit better. But regardless, we'll get you taken care of. Just email me, and we'll, and we'll sort it out. Um, we're happy to do it. Um, let's see. So this new scope is awesome. Yes, it's expensive, um, but I mean when you're looking at a gun, the guns. $1,600, $1,700. So you want to put you know, cheap glass on an expensive gun? I, I would rather put expensive glass on an expensive gun. Um, anyway, thank you so much to Hawk for loaning this out to us. It is awesome. Now, Hawk will be at Ergon Expo. Um, I believe Thursday, John will be here like he has many times come by, and he'll have his his trunk full of all cool hawk stuff some of which we'll see if we can I, we got to watch joe because joe's supposed to be here too joe from predator and joe joe's sticky fingered i'm just telling you you know he would like walk away with this red dot and stuff and you just got to really watch the guy so uh but joe will be here john will be here from hawks and we'll be talking to him in person live and in person and going through all the cool stuff that they want to show us um but i've got this we're going to be shooting this a lot throughout the week. I should have, I'm probably going to reach out to Hawk to see if they'll send us another one so we can have them uh, and just move them between guns more more easily rather than having to, I don't want to have to take it out of the mount. So I'm probably going to reach out to them and see if they'll send me another one so we can just have two of them, one on Dovetail, one on Weaver, and we can just move them around that way. That would be awesome. But anyway, so stay tuned for that. Now back over to um, the dream tack. What we were doing on this video, because uh, some people, you know, mentioned about the um, the adjustments, and frankly, that's the guys. You know me. Um, I am a uh, I'm a um, uh, shoot it and use it kind of guy. I, I don't. I guess Tom Gaylord would say I'm, I, I, he would call somebody that has to twist knobs. He'd call him a knob dicker, and I'm not that. Um, so. <laughs> I kind of, 
I'm fine with guns that aren't adjustable. They just, they do what they do. And if it doesn't do what I want, I find one that does. But I know that that is not, the, the market isn't that. The market actually wants this type of a platform. Now, if I'm going to be brutally honest, br brutally honest here, I can even say the word, um, I'll be brutally honest. I was hoping that the hot sun uh, factor was going to be like the poor man's version of this. The hot sun factor, maybe I've got a picture of it. Let me see if I've got a picture I can throw up here. Um, that one, let's see, I do. Okay, so um, like so, this is the hot sun factor, right? So this has a transfer port adjuster, and on the other side, it has a hammer spring adjuster, and it has an externally adjustable regulator. So on paper, we've got a, a AR style gun with a bottle, carbon fiber bottle, that has a transfer port adjuster and a hammer spring adjuster, all of it external. So I'm thinking, okay, this is a thousand bucks. The other one's sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars. I wonder if it's if it's competitive. It is not. <laughs> um, and I think what will be really fun is to let Angie kind of tell you guys in her own words the difference between the two guns. Because if you just look at them sort of at a distance, they're going to look very, very similar. And on paper, they have very similar capabilities. Don't look at the power output on paper. But just look at the features, um, and they're very, very, very similar. But they're not at all similar when you sit down at the bench. Um, I think that the hot sun factor has some potential, but it needs to execute a whole lot better than it did. So let me switch back over here. We'll get we'll pull up the, the green line again. Um, okay, so the dream line, um, I wanted to test how the power works. And essentially you've got a hammer spring, which works really slick, uh, and then you have a transfer port. And as somebody was saying in the comments that the reason um the reason that the, the it was kind of acting funny is sometimes it does that if the reg is too low and the hammer's too high. I don't know about those settings yet, but I will start getting into that um, and see if there's if I can get it to sort of level out. But regardless, if you know what it's doing, regardless of what the label says, you sort of know what it's doing and you can adjust for it. But pretty cool. Um, we will get to adjusting the reg. I want to see if I can be uh, sub-MOA at 100 yards with this. It certainly will shoot sub-MOA at 50 yards. Both of our final groups that we shot were sub MOA. That was like just under half an inch center to center. Um, and then this one was like under 0.4 of an inch center to center. So um, absolutely sub MOA gun at 50 yards easy. Um, and you'll do it regularly now. Um, but I want to see if we can stretch it out. So stay tuned for that. That's, I may transition that over to uh, some grip reviews I want to do, but I, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to use that yet. But if you're subscribed to this channel, um, please also make sure you subscribe to the Gateway to Air Guns YouTube channel and the links are in the video description um, so that you guys don't miss whether it's a, whether we release something on GTA for grip, the grip reviews or we have it here at Airgun Web, you, you're not, you won't miss anything. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see. <clears throat> let's take a look at some stuff we got here on the table. Um, so I was contacted, uh, and this happens a lot, and I usually say, no, thank you, because I'm just too busy, um, and I have too many things going on, and it may, I may have a conflict of interest or whatever it is, but I decided to go ahead and take a look at this one company, because they had more than, they weren't, they, to me, they didn't look like a one-trick pony in the sense of the different things they're offering. Um, I'm hoping that this will show up okay. So this is a red dot. Um, you guys see red dots all the time. Um, I'm going to show you their website on Amazon here. Um, and they're not paying me for this. They just sent me the thing and said, would you take a look at it? I said, I'd be pleased to. And that's about as far as I've gotten. I, I haven't even, I've done, I've opened it. That's, that's it. That's all I've done. Well, you guys can't see that, can you? Um, I've opened it. It's all I've done is just literally open the box up. So we're going to look at it tonight, um, just kind of get an eyeball of it. But I wanted to show you, um, this is their store, and I, and I haven't put the link in the video description yet, but I will when we're done. I'll throw it up there. But they have an Amazon store. And some of the products they had I thought was pretty cool, or were pretty cool. Like this top one here 
is an M-Lock rail laser. And I hadn't seen that. Maybe I'm, you know, I just haven't seen that before. But a green M-Lock laser, I'm thinking, would be pretty stinking cool on some of the air guns I have. And it looks like they got a blue laser. Um, of course, they got red. That's pretty slick. Um, and they have just a bunch of different gear, more so than just your typical red dot that everybody has. Um, this red dot here is like $63. Uh, it does have the mount where you can get it up above your site. So you have sort of, you can use your open sites or you can use the red dot, which is kind of cool. Um, and more laser packs and they have some combos. So um, I was kind of, it, what caught my attention with this particular brand uh, happened to be those M-Lock rail uh, lasers. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. And maybe you guys know all about them, but I hadn't seen them yet, so I thought that was pretty cool. But let's let's take a look at this. I haven't, as I said, I haven't done anything other than, you know, looking at it right here. So I can zoom in a little bit. How's that? That work? My camera's backwards. Okay, so I'm gonna move me over here, and I'll put this over there. All right, good enough. Um. All right, so uh, this is a unit. It, it, it feels decent. I mean, this is not reinventing the wheel by any stretch. Um, there's a lot of folks out there that are making pretty decent red dots these days. Um, and the proof of the pudding is, how will this work on some of the guns we're going to shoot um, at the expo? And that's sort of why I had them send it, because I wanted to see how this sort of would work for that. Looks like we've got... Um, this can go here. It looks like you've got actual screws that takes that off. It looks like this base actually comes apart and then you replace it with this, which is kind of neat. Um, okay. I don't know that I've seen that implementation before. Uh, it's got some sort of honeycomb screen here, probably to reduce glare, I'm guessing. Um, and I don't know if they have any special ways to turn it on. There's the batteries. Okay. I don't think it's got the batteries in it yet. Let me see. It does check that out okay all right um oh here's our manual manual and tools okay so you got a little bit of everything neat little case um let's see what they got what they tell us here okay uh, not a lot of instruction there guys <laughs> um pretty basic um yeah i mean it's just just your basic little pamphlet um, so we want to turn it on. We hit the power button. That's a little hard to figure out. Okay. Um, I'm looking through it now. It's got a bit of a bleed. Is it on like full tight? Let's see. Let me turn it down a bit. Okay. So I can turn the brightness down and it definitely, then it doesn't over bleed on the, on the, on the site. So that's good. Actually gets extremely fine with no bleed. So the question will be, how's it going to do in bright light? Let me hold it up to, let me hold it up to my studio lights. And okay, so if I pull it off the studio, if I pull off the studio light, um, I got bleed over. But if I have it right on the light, it's just a fine, super fine dot. And that looks like, I want to say that's like a one MOA, or it's very, very tiny. Because some of them you have like these big, thick five MOA dots and stuff. I don't know that you guys can see it. Oh, there you go. There you go. You can see it. Check it out. It's out of focus. All right. Anyway, how do we turn it off now? Push the button. Yep. All right. So that's that. We're going to be playing with that. And who knows? I may reach out to them about some of the lasers because I think running some of those laser things, but I like the blue laser. It's really cool. I don't know anything about it you know, the different colors and the benefits, other than I know green is better than red and maybe blue is better than green. I don't know. Okay. So the next company I want to talk to you guys about, uh, this is a new company. They're an advertiser on the GTA and they make very affordable um, accessories, um, moderators. I mean, very affordable, like a, uh, oh, you look, you can get 15% off. Um, you can get a Crossman, 2240 
um, silent a suppressor for sixteen dollars. I mean, these are all um, 3D printed uh, type products. So I'm going to kind of show you what they look like, and they are. I mean, they're obviously 3D printed. Okay, these are very affordable, but also very cool looking, and certainly going to be a lot of fun in the backyard kind of a deal. And they've got some stuff which I've I've found can be kind of hard to find. So anyway, let's see, let me show you what they've sent me and then we're gonna be doing a live presentation in the studio. We'll put some of these on some guns and measure uh, what kind of DB shift we get uh, with and without them. We'll shoot into a silent trap and we'll do this indoors and see how it works. So we'll be doing that uh, one day during the experts. You don't wanna miss that. So all right, so let me switch over here. Okay, so this was one of the things that got my attention. I think this is very cool. If you guys can see it, I'm going to find it on their website because this is adapters. Yep. Okay, this is actually a rail for a 2240. So we're going to put this on a 2240 and allows you to actually have a scope and stuff on your 2240 without having to go with a steel breech. So literally you just drop this on, it's 14 bucks, right? Now, if you wanna use um, a suppressor on your 2240, I believe that is their suppressor. This is either that for that or the Beeman. They have, they made me one custom for like the Beeman QB78. So we've got a QB78, we've got something that looks like it's for a daisy. Um, and these, a lot of them, like this just slides on the rail and it integrates into the gun. So you don't even need, you don't even really need a, um, a threaded muzzle that just sort of integrates into the gun, which is pretty cool. A couple of those. And then we have some different threaded ones. This one here is actually very small. If you've, if you've shot or seen the Diana Chaser, um, that is not one half UNF, it's smaller. This is for the Diana Chaser, which I think is pretty slick. Then we have our standard, I think this is a standard one half UNF. Uh, no, this is a slip on. Oh, okay, this is one just slides on. I don't know what the exact size on this. I have to look at the paperwork on what this goes to. But this slides on, like slides over muzzle. TKO22 TKO did those, and it's got a set screw. And then this is your just typical um, one half UNF. And then this is a slide on adapter where you can convert like a 2240 or something like that into something you can run with this. So we're gonna play around with our 2240 and have some fun with it and probably add a bunch of this stuff to it and see how it does. But these accessories are super, super affordable. If we go quick over the page again. Like, okay, so the 2240 is that, that rail is $14. Um, and all of these look, you know, 3D printed. Um, and he was able, I don't know if he, I, don't, I may speak out of turn, so forgive me if I'm wrong here, but I, I would imagine that if there's something that you need done, if you can send them him the dimensions, it's something that they can maybe even make for you, which is just cool. Again, 3D printed stuff, very affordable. This is like the Smith & Wesson m and and this is, you see how it sort of slides onto the rail there, so it just slots into the rail, and now you've got a suppressor. Now, these are built for CO2 guns, and I need to specify that. These will not work on your on pellet gun, as far as PCP guns, okay? These are meant for CO2. They're, they're yeah, they may make your CO2 that much more backyard friendly and look really cool um, in the process. So that's, I think that's a pretty cool product. If you guys are interested in this guy's stuff, it's airguncapital.com, so check them out. Um, and we're gonna be playing with all of this stuff, and I'm probably, going to be shipping this stuff out to Angie so she can do some proper grip testing with it and just have them around for testing different things. Because, you know, okay, I like Donny FL, I like uh, Zero DB, but we're talking a couple hundred bucks for some stuff. This is like, this is a $20 bill most of the time. And if I'm shooting CO2, maybe I don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on a suppressor. Maybe I want to spend 20 bucks. And if it works, cool. Um, so, you guys got to check these guys out, Ergen Capital. So let's see. Ah, so let's talk a little bit more about uh, what we got going on for Ergen Expo. Um, I guess I can pull up the website. Let me do that because um, we have 
it's it's funny you know god is good um i wasn't quite sure how the expo was going to go this year because as you guys know most of you guys know i had open heart surgery and that whole thing and that kind of derailed the first we we're gonna do it in may like the third week of may and couldn't do it you know obviously that just wasn't gonna work um and then I really wanted to do it. I didn't want to let it go. I didn't want to skip a year because then I just, I don't know that we do it again, but I really like doing the expo because we have people that aren't, that are outside the norm. So a guy like Ergen Capital, do you think he'd show up, be able to show up at SHOT Show? No, there's no way he can afford to do that. But we can highlight his products affordably and you guys now get to know about a really cool thing. Um, Cap Arms are going to be there. I haven't told Angie that yet. Um, but I think Angie, correct me if I'm wrong, Angie, but you like the Dragon Claw. You just wish it had more power. Well, we're getting the Cap Dragon Claw, which doubles the power. So you're looking 500 and some change foot pounds out of the Dragon Claw. And it's a valve system, really. And it's a valve system that does things in a really cool way. Instead of um, hitting it harder, which is often what people do. I got to lower that camera. Hold on just a second. Okay. Oh no, I'm like shrunk down. I need like a little more adjustment. That'll do fine. Um, okay, so the, um, what was I? The Dragon Claw, more power. All right, the, the uh, that angle's gonna bug me. Okay, all right. Ah, it's gonna have to do. I'll have to fix this up for next next time. I like I like using that camera there. I just have to rearrange things a bit. Anyway, companies like whether it's Ergen Capital or Cap Arms or some of these other places, like we've got Clear Ballistics or, or has sent us a bunch of stuff, which we've worked with Clear Ballistics before. But I mean, they've got some really cool things. I can't wait to show you that I think are right up the uh, right up our alley as air gunners. Um, SWA. Well, I mean that's uh, I'm intimately familiar with SWA. I work very, very closely with that whole program. So we've got the SWA products coming, you know, we have those featured again. Um, but anyway, let me show you what we got going on. Uh, the, I was talking about the um, God being so good because <laughs> I wasn't quite sure if we were going to bring this whole thing out again. And right, right when we decided to do it, we started to get interest and we filled up. I mean, at this point, I've got maybe a couple slots open for next week and then we're just full we're, we're going to have a very full week of a, a wide range of very cool air gun stuff to talk about and show you guys all right um first of all this is and this is important <sighs> last year um if you guys were watching last year we were in the middle of the stream and youtube cut us off and then we streamed the rest of the show on facebook well if you guys saw any of my posts this weekend, I, I trust Facebook about as far as I can throw them. And I just cannot see leaning on that platform as a way to have any stability. I just cannot see as practical. So we are going to be stream. We'll probably be pushing a stream to Facebook, but our primary stream is going to be right here on our website. So um, this green section right here will have a player in it and you'll be able to watch uh Ergon expo live all the live stuff will be right here you won't have to go try and find it it'll always be right here we will notify you and put a link and let folks we'll, we'll you know we'll send out alerts and stuff so if you guys want to watch the expo be part of it that we're going to have everything right here and as we release content as it goes out we're going to be then uh you know, it'll be there forever. You guys can go watch it whenever. Um, but let's take a look at the sponsors so far this year. I mean, American Pro Shop. And then we've got, we've got quite the crew. Umrex Gamo, Bara. That's supposed to be a logo. I don't know why that's there. Um, so, hello. You brought me a banner. My wife just walked in. So let me show her something quickly while we're all watching. Um, Bara needs their logo updated. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Sorry, <laughs> a little uh, a little admin right in the middle of the show here. Um, but there's supposed to be a logo there. Um, so Barra Barra Moab air guns. Um, we got New England air guns. We got the Hoobin's going to be shooting again. We've got a Pyramid Air Hawk Predator. ATN FT Air Guns is a new company based out of Dallas, and uh, I keep asking, what's he bringing? Because he's actually coming up. He's he and I are going to do a live show together, and I don't know how many days he's going to be here, but that's going to be very cool. Um, so that's going to be awesome. Cap arms again, uh, dynamic air rifles. They're new for this year. So we're going to have, uh, we're going to have a pre-recorded video. Angie's been working on for the DAR 22. We'll be shooting the DAR 25 live because she saw the 22. I wanted to shoot the 25. We've got air arms, um, air Venturi, air Vin Depot. You know, you see the list of everybody there. We'll have some cool Evidex stuff. Um, and the Red Wolf may be, may or may not. We'll see. We've got some extra slots. Since we have extra slots, we're going to, you know, we're going to use them. So we'll, we'll get in some content that we just want to do for fun. So anyway, this is the website you want to come. Make sure you have bookmark because all next week, this is where we're going to have all of our content will be live here. Stuff's falling down back there. We'll be live here. And um, we're going to try and stream it to Facebook as well. And, it will or will not survive. Um, and then our nightly wraps, which we did last year, we're, we're going to do those here on YouTube because it's just us talking around the table. So catch us live on YouTube in the evenings. Every evening it'll be at 7 o'clock-ish, plus or minus a few minutes. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that's next week's going to be huge. If you just look at the look at the group of sponsors we have coming out or have sent product to be represented, it is, it's a lot. It's very, very cool. And if you want to take a look at uh, what we call our virtual show floor, you can go and go right into um, any of these, all of these guys here have sent us material that we've published um, where you can find out more about the products, find out more about them. And here's, you ever have a problem where you're trying to connect with a company and you can't find their phone number or you don't know who to email? Well, you can go to their Go to this part of our website, and you can actually connect directly with someone at their company right through this form. So uh, I, I really like doing this kind of stuff. Personally, I think this is a lot of fun. Um, we can You can go through and find, uh, you know, what each, you know, these things these companies are really interested in bringing to the market and doing, and you can then connect right with them. So... Um, Please, you know, go check out the site. It's theairgunexpo.com. And please join us next week because we are going to have, I think we're going to have a ton of fun, guys. Just a lot of fun. Um, okay, so let's see. I've not been paying attention at all to the chat. So I'm going to go take a quick peruse here. Um, let's see. Is there anything we need to chat about? Um, you know, I don't know that we need to go super long tonight. If you guys have any questions, I'm, I'm happy to jump in and, and see if I can answer them for you. Um, but if we're, if we're done, I think I've got some work to do. I've got some stuff to get done more for the pro or for, um, Ergen Expo. I got to chat with Angie cause she just got in a little bit, uh, before the show here. Um, but if you guys have any questions real quick, while I wrap up, throw them up there and we'll jump into it. Um, Let's see. Uh, uh. Tim, I'm curious. Um, Timmy, did you get any, did you make any progress on your, your, um, your Beeman? I forgot which one you had. Your Chief, was it the Chief 2 or, or one of the Chiefs you had? Or I forgot which one you were playing with. Uh, but did you get, did you make any headway with it or sort it out? Or is that still giving you a fit? I'm curious. Um, there's that question. Uh, are we going to have any JTS stuff there? Um, no. Uh, just, I straight up, no. <laughs> um, not that I didn't want to, um, but we just ran out of time and they are just now getting their containers in and they're going through QC and trying to get stuff out to dealers. And they had no time to really get with me on this event. So will I be doing stuff with JTS? I'm sure. Um, my last conversation, which was actually today, um, looked like we are we, probably 2023 we'll start doing stuff because I think they have more than just the Aracudas and stuff. 
Um, but yeah, I was I was hoping that we were going to be able to bring in the JTS stuff. But um, at this point, I mean, I have a handful of slots open. If they called me tomorrow and wanted to get in, I certainly could could get them into the show. Um, but I've had all the all the stuff printed and everything done, so they wouldn't be on any of the material, which kind of stinks. But anyway, um, that's just you know the way it goes. Uh, I will t I will say that I did talk to Travis today. They do have their containers, so the those that have been waiting for the Aracuda, Aracuda Max, all that stuff, you should be able to get that pretty darn soon. And that I know is really really good news, right? So. You know, be on the lookout for that. So anyway, let's see. Um, I think that's going to be it, guys. We're going to wrap it up. It's Seven Eleven. Sounds like I'm back in Florida, going to the corner store, Seven Eleven. Um, but we're going to wrap it up, and I hope I hope to see you guys um, for the expo again all next week. We're starting Monday morning at nine. We should have something on the hour every hour from nine to five for five days straight. So. That's a lot of air gun stuff. So I hope you guys will come come hang out with us. And if you have any questions, um, you know, get with us and we'll do the best we can. Now the live shows, you should be able to interact with us live, which will be awesome because if you have questions, we can answer them right there. And uh, be, we can be all sort of like do a, uh, a live demo and take customer questions or viewer questions and it would be really fun too. Um, you pulled the LDC off to get it to shoot. Well, um, interesting. Um, was it the factory LDC or was it the was it something somebody had added? Curious. Just asking Timmy a question here because he got he got his gun to shoot, but it was the moderator that was giving him the problem. So, all right. All right, so yeah, I, I, there had to be something going on with it. Maybe we can chat via email and you can tell me, fill me in on all the gory details. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you for coming up and hanging out with me, even though it was kind of a short night. Um, I hope you guys really come come and support us with the expo and support all the sponsors. Please check out, oh, you want to talk about Rumble? Well, I'm glad you jumped in. Um, Derek, what, okay. I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, this this was frustrating. I'm, I'm gonna throw it up here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go here, and I'm going to drop. Let me see here. This was extremely frustrating. This had me um, irritated, uh, all, bad, irritated, bad. Um, so let me pull this up because this is worth a discussion. Thank you, Derek, for saying this, because I would have forgot and then kicked myself afterwards about why didn't I get into that conversation. All right, so this is what I got greeted with Saturday morning um, with from Facebook. Don't lose your page. You're in jeopardy of losing your page. Now, I want you, I want you just to just look at this for a minute, okay? Now, uh, soapbox in a little bit, so forgive me. Community standards violation. My sister, Cheryl Usler, two years ago, something they removed seven months ago, says she was posted something in violation of child nudity and sexual, sexual exploita exploitation of children. Are you kidding me? That's absurd. Absolutely absurd. Now, I want to just tell you, there's jack all I can do about telling them they're wrong. No email. There's nothing you can click on. It says, is this information helpful to you? You get to say yes or no. If you say no, they say thank you. That's it. And this just, this was it. I mean, this was sort of last straw territory for me. Um, and Maggie, I mean, Cheryl's my sister. Maggie's my sister in the Lord. She, I think Maggie got flagged for posting a picture of a carbon fiber bottle. Angie, if you remember way back, got taken down for shooting a pickle. 
I mean, this is just absolute absurdity, and I just sort of lost it. Um, and I just am not gonna. I, I'm not gonna allow my work to be held hostage by Facebook, YouTube, and whoever. So, and that includes Rumble. I mean, none of these things are. If you don't own it, you don't own it. They can change their mind. They can be bought out by somebody. A lot of things can happen that you don't anticipate. And you're left out in the cold. I'm not going to be in that place. I'm not going to have that happen. Um, so I am not, I, I would consider myself a conservative. Obviously, I am conservative. But I, I wouldn't consider myself like far right wing conservative. Um, because I, I believe there's two sides to every story. And every person is a person that has... I think a lot of people have best intentions, but they're ill applied. Um, they don't understand the consequences of what they're trying to do, and they can't see two or three steps. Well, they can't see one step ahead of their decision they're making right now. But people are just people. I'm a person. I have my faults, my failures, my. Um, I, I'm a person. I need the grace of God like every other person. And I want to extend that grace to others because I need it. So I say that because as far left as some of these other places are, Rumble is very far right. I don't know that I subscribe to either ideology because I see both sides as promoting their own agenda. Um, truth be damned, often. It's whatever's convenient that agrees with what I want to believe. That's what I'm going to promote. I, I can't agree with either side. I think that the content I create and others in my industry create will have a safer harbor over at Rumble than anywhere else. But you don't know you don't know what sort of pressure could be applied to that platform and have them change. But with all that said, I think it's a it's a friendlier place to be for sure. Um, so I did set up. A Rumble account. I know many of you guys were saying I needed to do it. I did it. Um, let me get over here. So we have um, Ergen Web here, and it's in the process of importing my YouTube channel. And I, it, I mean, I have 1,300 videos on YouTube. I don't know if they're going to get them all. I don't know how far back they're going to go. I said get it all, um, and we'll see. We'll see what they get. But I, I, everything that comes out now, going forward, it, it will be, it will, it will have a presence here on the Rumble channel. So if that's something, um, if you guys prefer to look at stuff there and not have to deal with Facebook or YouTube, um, it'll be there. And I'm going to investigate other options too because there's more options than just those two. Um, is this, yeah, oh yeah, this is cable. Well, we'll deal with that next week. Um, there's more options, and I want to um, make the content readily available. One, for I don't want it to you know be lost, and two, I care about um, those that have supported the channel for years and years and years and years and years and years. And, years. and you know the fact that in a in a blink of an eye, a fairly significant investment. Let's say a company like Pyramid Air, which has been with me since 2009. Was that 13 years? Um, and has invested a lot of money with me to all of a sudden have all of that go in an instant. Well, gosh, man, I would feel horrible for them. So I want to do as much as I possibly can to not only protect the content for years to come, uh, but also for the sake of the people that have supported me. On the other side of this, the safest place, as far as I'm concerned, is Gateway Air Guns. Um, I mean, we're going to be doing some work on the GTA to, to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate and easier to find stuff. It's a very, when you have two over 2 million posts and pages, that's not something you flip a switch and it's done instantly. It takes a lot of planning, and we're, we're discussing that amongst ourselves um, on, how to, um, on how to do that. We got somebody coming in and spamming the chat. Thankfully, it's being blocked. 
Um, anyway, you know, we will um, we will continue to leverage other means, but ultimately, the safest harbor, as far as I'm concerned, is going to be Gateway to Air Guns because I own it. I mean, I bought this company, I have maintained the website, I maintain the servers. Um, this is something that cannot be taken away from us, and to me, that is worth a lot. So I encourage you guys, if you haven't joined up, please do. And if you have questions or if you've had issues in the past and, you know, things happen, but things also change. And I ask you to give us another chance. And as we develop the new website and the new interface and how we're going to do it, we're not going to, this isn't going to go away. There's a lot of old timers that really like this. They know where everything is. They really appreciate it. We're not going to change that because it works for them. We don't want to upset that particular apple cart, but we will be creating something probably us, you know, beside it. Then, you know, it'll be a natural organic migration over to the new, the new uh, that I think will be a little bit easier for younger folks and those more computer savvy uh, to jump in and make use of more, more quickly and, you know, sort of immediately. But we're going to be working on that. We're not in any, so we're not in any huge hurry. Um, we're going to take our time and try and do it do it right, um, but we encourage you guys to be part of that, uh, and we we need you guys. We need air gunners to come over and help other air, gun air gunners, and that's what GTA is about. This is my my uh, my long term plan for not only my content but Angie's content and other content creators that want to have a truly safe harbor. This is this is my the, the long game um, and it's going to take a while but that's that's what I'm shooting for you guys sort of I mean I've tell, told many people it's not like uh, not some big secret but in any case guys uh, that now I definitely am done and now I've talked another 10 15 minutes so um, I hope you guys will join us for Aragon Expo next week I hope you will make use of the other um, systems we have besides the Facebook and YouTube one of the things I said in my post on Facebook was, well, I'll, I'll create a Rumble account, as I did. But I need people to then use it, <laughs> right? So if if I get, I don't know, 1,500 views in a day on a video, and I get four on Rumble, you know, what do you do with that? I need I need people to actually use it. That's not just the existing Rumble community, but whatever platform it is, I need people to go and use it. So anyway, I guess I'm done. I really am done now. Let's switch back over and get off of that page. Um, you know, I'm gonna switch over. Again. There we go. Um, but that's that is really gonna be it for now, guys. We'll see us starting Monday again. If you want to catch all the lives, all the all the cool stuff we'll be doing next week. It's going to be on www.theairgunexpo.com. We'll have lots and lots of links and lots of stuff going out. So hopefully you guys won't have any trouble finding it. And we hope to see you there. Guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to do some more work tonight and get ready for several days of lots of videoing. And then my sister's going to be editing like a crazy person. So anyway, guys, thanks again for coming out. We will catch you soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.